academic life or as a scientist is very busy. It's very rare to find someone that has a one, one biotech company, but then you found two companies. Yeah. So one biotech, which right. is Ingenis, and the other one is pharma uh, Progenis Pharmaceuticals. That's right, yes. So what was, what was the, the motivation to do that? Um, I've been in my academic laboratory uh, at the uh, university campus mm -hmm. for nearly seven years. And I started my career here at, in 2015. And um, around the time of COVID-19, we had a strict border closure in March 2020. Nothing was coming in the country. We were here totally blocked. And that time, the entire scientific community realized we were so reliant on overseas companies to get all of our oligonucleotide supply. And I was contacted by federal government to manufacture the RT-PCR primer. And at that time, I was only manufacturing that at the laboratory scale. Mm -hmm. And I was one of the labs in Australia are capable of manufacturing DNA and RNA oligonucleotide. But I could only manufacture just enough for a lab and also my collaborators around Australia, but not for the entire country as a supply chain, making grams of such material. But that really kept uh, uh, a seed in my head. Now is the time to do something. I wanted to convert that into a commercial operation so that the Australian New Zealand can benefit out of what we do and what we're good at doing at the laboratory level. And I immediately contacted my mentor, Professor Marvin Corrales at the Uni of Colorado, and also uh, at uh, my institutional heads uh, at the um, Parent Institute and at Murdoch University. They all uh, wholeheartedly supported the idea of converting that lab into a viable business to support our ongoing activities at the universities and also the whole academics and industrial sector in Australia. And in December 20, we started Syngenis, mm -hmm. mainly as a manufacturing organization to supply uh, RNA and DNA oligonucleotides in this country. So I became, I would say, a forced entrepreneur. And uh, two years later, obviously, I've been uh, developing a lot of uh, therapeutic molecules based on RNA for uh, rare and also acquired diseases, made mm -hmm. together with my mentor, Professor Marvin Karatis. And I, uh, Marvin and I uh, you know, formed uh, Progenis Pharmaceuticals mm -hmm. to develop the lead molecule that we have identified 